Not today, I wasn't gonna give this speech. I had another idea until I had the opportunity to participate in a networking session that shifted my perspective and was hosted by the alumni. This overall session um, focused on answers to questions like, how can I cope with stress and more? But one presentation really stood out to me, and that was Sophia's. What Sophia taught me is that to know yourself before what you want to become. So today I bring you the who before the what. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chloe, and I don't know who I am. <laughs> when I found out that we had to write, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> when I had to found, when I found out that we had to write TED Talks, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know anything. The same thing, the same feeling happened. Um, has stuck with me when I found out that growing up is not all sunshine and rainbows. All of a sudden, I felt all this pressure on me because I feel like I just really needed to know where I was going in life. Honestly, I felt like a chicken with its head cut off, losing my mind on even thinking of where to start. Eventually, I started to step out of my comfort zone and walked into new opportunities. Now, this wasn't easy, and sometimes these opportunities weren't always the best decisions, decisions, but they made great life experiences. These opportunities came with different perspectives on life, opinions, and lessons. Everybody's story is different, but here's mine. This is my family. They're my, strive, they're my reason I strive for success, and all I want to do in life is make them proud. Especially my best friend. <laughs> my dad is like my toolbox. He hands me tools of information that I can use later in life through meaningful conversations and advice. I've gone for fr through friendships that have left me alone. I have had words, hurtful words that have left me worthless. And I've had situations where I felt like the world was on my shoulders. I felt all of this and more, but that's not my point. As these events kept happening, I didn't know who I was. Was I a smart student who was a teacher's pet? Was I a kind soul who was a people pleaser? Maybe like some of you here, I let these words and actions define who I was, but they didn't come from me. They came from other people. I let other people's words define who I was, but why? I thought it was the right decision, but was it? Even though I still didn't know the answer, I did something about it. I realized that I could jump. And now it's not like jumping, but I can take that jump. So I did. I started playing basketball. I emceed for a mental health assembly. And I, um, I even went back to my old middle school to talk about the start of high school experience. But the one that impacted me the most was when I applied and was accepted into RVSLA. Now, this has taught me how to handle challenging situations, how to make connections, and even reconnect with myself. In the past, I would have a hard time being open about my thoughts and feelings, but a big takeaway from all of this is that it's okay to express these thoughts because I am not alone. Not only did I learn all these skills, but I learned something else important. I'm gonna take you back to that RVSLA alumni networking session that I mentioned at, at the start. Remember that presentation that really stood out to me? The title was, where do you see yourself in five years? Now this question really, I was really driven to it because that's all I wanted to prepare for, for, for to prepare my future. Um, but in the end of that presentation, I ended up not getting the answer that I wanted. But I left with something better. I learned that you need to know who you are before what you want to become. So I started to pull out my personal values and focus on them. I picked three words to focus on and applied them throughout my day. To make sure I was living by my values, and I was asking myself an attached question. First off is drive. What new goal did I set up for myself? Balance. How did I put my energy on my well-being and on the important things I have to prioritize first? And third is vision. How did I inspire others to strive to be better today? Now, what I want you to take away from this is that it's okay to not know what you want. And it's okay to not know where to start. But don't be afraid and take that first step. Take that jump and take that risk. 
And most importantly, highlight your values and keep them constant and make sure that you're always living by your values. I challenge you to focus on three driving words and attach an action question to it and see how much it can impact you and the others around you. So, where do I see myself in five years? To that I say, I still don't know. But what I do know is that I'm taking the steps to get my answers by understanding and knowing who I am and what I can become. My name is Chloe, and throughout RVSLA this year, I know a little bit more about who I am. I've learned that I'm kind, supportive, eh, and sometimes funny. <laughs> but most importantly, I'm happy. I have my family by my side, and I have amazing role models like the alumni in this program who inspired me to view personal leadership in this way. Thank you.